Now, before I show you all sorts of gadgets and gizmos you can use to find keywords, I just want to do a little brainstorming session. So let's say you sell bikes online. This basically means that people are going to be coming to you for pretty much three things, to buy a bike, to buy accessories, and to ask questions about topics related to bikes and cycling. Now, when the first group searches for you, they might search for a specific brand like Schwinn or Mongoose or a general term like bike sales. When the second group searches, they might also search for a specific brand, but they could also just search for a general term like helmets, gloves, or t-shirts. And finally, the last group could search for terms like bike safety, nutrition, or best bike trails, for instance. Now, in order to have any chance of coming up in search, you'll obviously need to have pages for all of these possibilities. Now, what I want you to do is to put yourself in the head of your customers and ask yourself what possible combinations of words people would use in a search to find your business. And just write down everything that comes to mind. Don't filter anything. You can also have your team, if you have a team, Imagine that they are potential customers and ask them what they would type into a search engine if they were looking for something similar to your product or service. And you can supplement this by asking some people outside your business what they would search for, preferably people who are not directly associated with the company. You also want to ask yourself if there are any helper words that you might uh, use. Add-ons or helper words usually specify location. So, for example, if you were a local bike shop in Los Angeles, LA or Los Angeles or the zip code would be the helper word. You could also use helper words like uh, free, cheap, trial, how-to, information, review, online, tutorial, video. These are all terms, um, popular terms that people include after very broad search terms. Now in terms of search it's going to be a lot easier to rank for the accessories and more specific terms than it will bikes or bike sales. Oh, by the way when I when I say rank for something it just means to get onto the first page of the search results. That's sort of the terminology used to talk about getting into those first 10 results, ranking for a certain keyword or keywords. Anyway once you've come up with a base of say 50 to 100 keywords, check out the following videos. I'm going to show you several websites and free programs you can use to take those 50 keywords and create a list of more than a 1,000, which we're going to use to create optimized posts and articles that easily lead your customers from information to purchase.